Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I do reamping in Reaper. So I've got a demo here, just really rough scratch idea, but I kind of like to hear it without um, virtual amps. So um, let me show you what I've got so far and uh, the kind of tone I've gotten through uh, Amplitude. Okay. You get the idea. So what I want to do is run it out of the computer into a pedal and then into a tube amp, into a guitar cabinet, and then into a pair of microphones. So to do that, we need a reamp box. The one I use is called the Line 2 Amp. It's an inexpensive kit from DIYRecordingEquipment.com. Um, if you have any soldering skills at all, I highly recommend it. It's a very easy build, quick and inexpensive. Sounds just as good as the other options for reamping. So, I have my audio interface set to send output 7 into my reamp box. Then I have a guitar cable uh, going into a rat pedal. And then from there it goes into the tube head, cabinet, hot plate, all that kind of stuff. All the other guitar rig stuff. The microphones are going into a two-channel tube preamp, and then those are going back into inputs one and two of my interface. So, first step of reamping is to uh, set up our outputs. We don't want this track to go to outputs one and two. So we can uncheck that. It's also a shortcut. Hold down Alt, and then click on the button, and that will disable the master parent send. Now we need to send to the reamp box. So click here, go to audio hardware sends. I got to scroll down, got a lot of outputs on this interface, and I'm choosing number seven. The only thing we need to change here is pre-fader send. Okay, uh, we only need to make one for now. And then I want to disable the, uh, let's just disable Amplitube. I actually want the gate this time. Let's see if we can get a signal going out. So I'm going to hit play, and you'll hear through my vocal microphone that uh, we're hearing the guitar in the room. All right. I'm going to make two tracks because I have two mics on the cabinet. I'm also going to pan these, the same as the original, and we can set these up for recording, and track 2 needs to be set to input 2. Let's meet this guitar. I think we're ready to hit record. Reamp our first track. All right, so that's one. So let's go to guitar two. Two more tracks, name them. Pan these, input enable, record enable, and then set track two, input two. Now we're going to alt click this Reamp send, drag it over to guitar two. Going to unmute it. All right, so this guitar starts over here, so let's hit record now.
Alright, so now we can disable this send and we can mute these original tracks, hide them, whatever we want to do. Let's just copy these reverb sends over to these other tracks. And then we should have something that was fairly close to what we had, what I had in the original demo. And um, yeah, should sound a little bit better now. Okay, so that's how I do reamping in Reaper. I hope this video has been useful. Subscribe to my channel to keep up with these videos. Check out the Reaper blog at reaperblog.net for lots more tutorials. Thanks for watching.